Don't ever look at that one. Don't look at that camera. Okay. <laughs> Shall I look at this camera? <laughs> Welcome to Blush Your Ring. My name is Matt, and this is my lovely wife, Lisa. And today we will be ranking boxed cake mixes together. Whoa, I didn't even think about how that. We gotta agree on something, right? For I didn't crap. I should have thought this out before you sat down here. We're not gonna agree. Welcome to Watch Matt Get Divorced Live. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about this for a while. This will come up in counseling. Oh, all right. You're very loud. Well, I come down. I get excited. I crash. <laughs> I come back strong. You know, search through the grocery store to see what hasn't been ranked yet, and I discover there is a vast array of box cake mixes. There's quite, honestly, too many. It's taking up precious space that could belong to, I believe, snack cakes of the Little Debbie variety, but we won't go there. So there's a ton of box cake mixes out there, and I thought, you know what, it's time to rank these, because there's a lot of people out there who like to bake, including Lisa. She's been baking cakes for a very long time, as you can see here. She's very, very good at it. And Thank you. so I thought, yeah, you're welcome. So what are your criteria? What do you look for in the perfect cake? Does it bake up fluffy? or is it super dense and it, never, it doesn't rise? And I keep seeing the word moist on the boxes. So it needs to be moist, but it doesn't need to be too moist. It doesn't need to crumble, but it also doesn't need to be like squishy. Awesome. I will need to say though that I bake with a box cake mix, but I doctor it up when I bake. I did follow all of the instructions for on today's. The for yes. these, yes. Yeah. Even down to the cooking time, which I thought some of those needed to stay in the oven a little longer and they came out. There's a lot going into this. Usually I just say, my criteria is I hope it's yummy, and then I just start <laughs> shoveling stuff in my face. Listen, I don't know who you are coming in here <laughs> with to. your credentials and your expertise and your knowledge of the subject, but back off, okay? okay this is yum you. yum time. Let's get going. <laughs> But first, hello there. And a special thanks to this episode's sponsor, Babbel, one of the top language learning apps in the world. You may not know this, but I've actually had four, or uh, cuatro, semesters of Spanish over the years. But I remember muy poco. And that's because I didn't practice it regularly. I mean, it was not very easy to find like a Spanish language movie at the Blockbuster back in 2003. But now thanks to Babbel, I am stepping up my Spanish game. Because there are over 10 million people in the South who speak Spanish and I want to be able to talk to all my neighbors. Plus, it's a pretty great flex when you go eat Mexican and you can order exactly what you want. Arroz con pollo, por favor. Instead of saying, uh, yeah, let me just get the letter J. Nailed it. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in three weeks. Ellos. And one thing that I love about this app is that the lessons are actually designed by real life language teachers and they offer live classes. I mean, cause let's be honest, you can have a conversation with a robot in your phone, but sometimes you need a real life conversation with a real life person about real world things like travel and business. And Babbel has given y'all one of the best deals that I've seen yet from a sponsor. If you click the link down in the description, they're gonna give you 60% off your subscription. And that also includes two of those live classes that I mentioned earlier for free. So what are you waiting for? Vominos. Competitor number one, Pillsbury. Pillsbury, Pills, Pillsbury? Pillsbury. Pillsbury. Pillsbury the Doughboy. I usually think of biscuits when I think of this little, this little pale boy right here. Also, we didn't really get into the whole yellow thing, yellow cake, uh, because it's one of the most popular ordered cake things, right? Yellow is up yes. there. Yellow and chocolate. And then vanilla is real close too. Yes. Can I make a comment that these did not puff up like I, I like them? Okay, that's a good mark. That's why you're here. Look I'm at just that. It's just a little flat. That like it should puff up more than that. Oh, can I have a fork? No. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> boom, I mean, it's pretty good. It's good. I'm, I'm not crumbling much. I got a couple here, but that's probably because I'm tearing into this thing like a wild dog. No, it's good. It holds its consistency. Still moist inside. It's solid. Yeah. Well, I'd say this is top tier. Mm. I mean, I think in the pack when we're done at the end of the day, this is gonna be somewhere right over here and not over here. I don't feel like you should eat the whole thing. Like, that's a lot of cake. You gotta eat six of these. Act like I've never done this before. <laughs> this is episode like 700. <laughs> I like it. It could have rose a little more for me, but once you have the icing on top of it, that it doesn't. You're right, that's pretty flat. Yeah. This is like the highest mountain in Alabama. This is like Mount Chia. This is not much of a mountain. But I We're generous to call it a mountain. But I give it a lot of points for not falling apart. Legit, look. I mean, that's like together. Like it's not crumbling in any way. Yeah. See, this is you like. You don't want your cupcake to crumble. If this is all I had, I'd say that's not bad. You know, if that's like Mount Chia is the highest place you've been to. Yeah, that's pretty tall up there. But then, then you go to Gatlinburg and you're like, oh man, this is nature. Where else can I see all these deer and bears and mountains and 
get fake moonshine and take old timey pictures and get on this sketchy dinosaur ride on Are you Main Street. Cupcakes to mountains. Yeah, here's what I have to do. Okay, this is how the show works. I do a little bit about the food, then I just do a whole riff on stuff. Okay. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. We'll just let the audience I'm, decide. Okay. Well, I'm just telling. Let you. me okay. just be honest. There's no point to this so show. So I Absolutely rank, no point. Can I rank this now? Number one, obviously. Well, but I rank it pretty high. Like I think it's going to be on this end of the table. It's going to be pretty high up there. It's definitely not going to be the end. You want cupcake? Cake? <laughs> oh, look at that! There's a bug in here. Competitor number two, Duncan Hines. That's a fun name to say. Duncan Hines. We should have named one of our daughters Duncan Hines. No. Duncan Hines Mitchell. Legally in Alabama, you can change your name no. at any point if you want to. No. As long as you get it personalized on your belt, then it's official. Again, that's another great thing about Gatlinburg, personalized belts at the leather store. Right next to the Fudge Factory. Come on down to the Fudge Factory and Leather Belt Personalization Store. Right next to the Wild Bear eating out the trash can. I am pushing hard for a Gatlinburg sponsorship. I mean, I really? just want one so Clearly bad. Clearly you are. Okay, first off, based on our criteria, this rose this really did. This is a nice, this, this is, this, is, this is. You see how you can see the cake on the underside of the icing? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you like. I like that. Cheers to uh, renaming our daughter Alice Duncan Hines. Nope, that's Too not. Too late, you, you cheers, Duncan. Not it. a thing. <laughs> it's done. Not Sorry, little Duncan. <laughs> oh, I like this better already. It gives. The sponginess is like a little trampoline in my mouth. It's a little oh, I got icing on me. It's a little trampoline of flavor, is what that is. It's more dense. Yeah. I think that's what makes the sponge a little bit better. Because when it's like got more gaps in it, it doesn't bounce back as much. I think this is really good. I like it. I like it. It's got me wanting to jump on a cake. It's got me wanting to just swim around in some cake. Jump on a cake? Mm hmm. Okay. You think like a, a cake could support me? Didn't think that I'd be attacked about my weight from my own wife. <laughs> no, yeah, so I didn't usually know. I have to wait till the show goes up and I read the comments. Duncan Hines gets good marks for me. I like Duncan Hines better than Pillsbury. Yeah, I do too. We're not disagreeing we're yet. When we okay. we're we're getting to a point where it's gonna be. Also, that looks delicious. If I was in the store and saw this, like that, that's a good looking cake. Good marketing. Mar good marketing. Okay. So we're putting this in front of Pillsbury. I would actually, if I'm in the store and I'm looking at cake mixes, I would want this because this boy just looks like a good time. Look at that old Pillsbury. He's just like, tell me everything about your day. <laughs> like imagine if you came home and I was just like. I would say, what have you broken? What have you done wrong? Uh, do you remember back to a time when you loved me? I do love you. <laughs> okay. Well, um, then that should not be your reaction to this. What did you do today, Matt? I'd rather you not ask me what I did today when you come home. Do you like to hear about my day? You got no. a boring job. You're a librarian. Out of the books, what are the books up to today? <laughs> Competitor number three, Baker's Choice. I've never had no, this. No, no, Corner. Baker's Corner. <laughs> I've never had this. Cool flips. Baker's Corner, I found this at Aldi, which is a grocery store. I like Aldi. Where you need to have a quarter to get a buggy. I feel like they don't want anyone to come in Aldi. It's an accident that they left the doors unlocked and it's just like, oh crap, we got customers. We don't have bags, hope that's okay. No, it's not okay. You think I have, you think I brought my own bag? You bring your own bags. Who has bags laying around? In the back of my car, there's a whole bag of bags. When you go into Costco, you don't get bags either. Why are you blowing at me? There was a bug. I, however, have never had Baker's Corner. Yeah, I don't I think I have either. I didn't know this existed. It does. And a lot of people out there were saying, like, yeah, use all these stuff. Oh, Talk no. about the Aldi stuff. Because the people that go to Aldi's and are Aldi loyalists. Although this has no synthetic colors. That's it's actually a little splotchy. It looks like it is kind of looks splotchy. like the tan I got last month at the beach. <laughs> Apparently, when you apply sunscreen, you should do it evenly and not just like, whoosh, whoosh, I'm ready, let's go. You, should, but that's you think a grown that. man would know better, no. but I do not. Cheers to the Aldi cult. like Aldi. Okay, I tell you already, it's not moist enough. Inside, it doesn't even look yellow. We don't, what's the point of saying it's yellow cake and it not being yellow? I'm taking points off of that right there. Oh, I should probably eat it. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought like it was the moistest cake we've had yet. Oh, I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moistest of the moist. It's very, it's dry. This is stuck to the paper more than any other yeah, one. Like, this is one of those saying. cupcakes that I hate. Cause you know what? Also, I'm... it doesn't bake evenly. You see how it's dark right here and then inside it was really light? Like, that, it did not bake evenly. That's probably your fault. I follow the instructions. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Well, I'm just like, telling you. Oh, I, I love you. I'm just telling you that I follow the instructions. Hey, will you make that easy pineapple cherry crisp? Sure. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks good. But don't buy any of the stuff from Aldi. Cause I hate them. Here's the recipe. You don't have to what are they? Are they German? I'm not a huge fan of this. I will say that uh, it's the, this dry. That's the most moist cake we've had yet. It's, it's, it's different between cupcakes somehow. Yeah, you need to get one of these. Okay. Here, let me get it for you. You gotta get in there. <laughs> oh my God. Look how 
it's crumbling. See, it's not supposed to crumble. Yeah, that's not good. That's negative points. But I want you to join me on the moistness here. Okay. Look, it's like our wedding again. Oh, God, don't do that. No, let me feed you now. Just like our wedding. Look at, look at how greasy my fingers are. It's like I've been eating fried chicken. I probably would have baked it in less time. If I would have, could have, should have, done a. Okay, I won't. I won't first place. Me. No, I will say that they had one good mark even though you disagree with me on that one, but there's nothing else above the other ones. To me, the most important thing is flavor, and it doesn't even surpass Pillsbury. No, it definitely doesn't have it the buttery yellow flavor. Yeah, so. All right, wow, y'all are in agreement so far. Yeah, this is shocking. Competitor number four, Betty Crocker. Whoa, Betty Crocker, bam lamb. whoa, Betty Crocker. Are you, you getting it? You yeah, like my you're singing? You're singing. I'll tell you what, and just go ahead and tell everybody now how good of a singer I am, especially at karaoke, mm -hmm. especially on karaoke nights. You're, you're pretty good. I mean, I get the crowd fired up. You do. You're a good karaoke person. I am, yeah. I mean, you shouldn't make a career out of it or anything. Okay, stop. I but... just, you just had to say you're pretty good and just stop. <laughs> but you're pretty good. I can get a real job now. Back to the mines <laughs> I go. It is funny that there's a whole generation of miners in my family and then it's like, me. You? <laughs> and I and I rank cake mixes. Nobody even makes these anymore. Makes the box recipe. <gasps> I knew that was gonna happen eventually. <laughs> Well, at least it's not the front of the box that gets shown the whole time. Look, I got an easy fix for this. Oh, oh. oh that's, oh, you don't that's, know where that's been. Here we go. So this did not bake up like uniform. No, this one did. Bon Appetit. However, it has good coloring. It does look good and it is pretty. Oh, look, it comes apart. Oh, wow, it is just oh. totally stuck to my fingers. Yeah. Moistness there, sponginess. Good, but not Duncan Hines level. This is almost identical to Duncan Hines, except that this is falling apart a little bit more. I feel like this has like a little bit of an aftertaste to it. Like what kind of aftertaste? Like synthetic. What would you put in it? It's just the mix makes it gives it like a little after. I'm gonna be honest, this is daggum delicious right here. Uh, oh, I bet that's the propylene glycol mono, just like Mama used to make. Where would you put it? Behind Pillsbury, before Baker's Corner. Whoa. Pillsbury. Well, here we are at the crossroads. It crumbled. I'm not I'm not pleased with this. Like I would be upset if someone ordered cake cupcakes from me and then they went to eat them at their party and it come out looking like that. It's all stuck to the paper. That's not cool. That is not great. This is this is how I'm doing it. Do you not agree? I disagree with you entirely on that one. Yeah, I think it's better than Pillsbury. I think it mm. tastes better. No, it kind of has a chemically taste to it. You know what? One thing I didn't think about was us not agreeing. Because we've been well, married I, now I, for 15 years. I knew we weren't going to agree. And you know what? We always compromise. And you know what? That usually entails me just giving in. So yeah, Betty Crocker, third place. I learned my lesson. Third place, Betty Crocker. I am the expert. <laughs> Where am I? Competitor number five. Great value. What a value it is indeed. Was this the cheapest? Yes, this is less than a dollar. Oh really? This, they gave this away at the front door at Walmart. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to think of something to do with the interesting with the box. It's so tough. You have no idea the toll this job takes on me. Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> You're ruining the cupcakes. This is the first time I've uh, entered in the great value all, all alternative into the mix of a ranking. People have been asking for this for a very long time, and this was probably one of the best ways to introduce it into the mix. Because also, it is the cheapest uh, option up here, even more than the Aldi one. The Aldi one was actually one of the more expensive ones. Yeah, well, the Germans gotta fund whatever they're doing over there, and it's probably not good. Uh, the rumor is, for most of my life, Great Value doesn't make their own things. They just repackage yes, from another that's company. That's what I heard, too. But that's is what that people say about everything. They say that about Kirkland, at Costco, and Sam's Choice, and the Publix brand. But I don't think Great Value is the case as we proved in that uh, Great Value versus Little Debbie snack cake. Nobody else sells some of those things and um, Great Value sucked. I mean, they were trash. So I expect this to taste like garbage. And to tell you what, color-wise it looks good. It, it, uh, no, see I don't like how it, like it bubbled up. Like you see, it looks like it's not mixed properly. I like that, that kinda looks like my skin. Comes off clean. Look at that! Look at that's beautiful! Whoa! Never in my life have I seen such a beautiful removal of the clothing of this cupcake. Look at this! Look at the colors! Look at the shading! This was what you call ombre? <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, who's the expert now? I don't hate it. I hear what? For the fact that it's cheaper than all the other ones, it's pretty daggum good. Well, 
little dry. I mean, it was a little bit drier, but if not and pouring a little water on it won't fix. It really makes me want to drink something. So this tells me that this would be really good in a scenario where you need your guests to also drink from something, maybe a poison chalice. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't hate it. It's a little dry, but I mean, yeah, this is great value. You have to give them a little bit of a bump because it's great value. What? I like the whole, like I like the whole thing. And that also comes into consideration the fact when I eat a whole thing unknowingly, it triggered something. I like that. Mm, I don't. I think it's certainly better than Aldi. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna, I will veto you on this one. <laughs> it's better than Aldi, it's not even close. So in between these two, I can agree with that. I'll give you this one. Oh my, compromise. Is this what it feels like to get in your way? <laughs> Like, what a rush! <laughs> don't worry, I'll be the bad guy. <laughs> uh, no, don't worry. Uh, the internet is gonna hate me after this. <laughs> I didn't like that cake. <laughs> Our last competitor, Numero Seis. Jiffy. They make more than cornbread, y'all. They also make yellow cake, which. Who knew? Okay, so this is the only one that had different ingredients. Yeah, hold on, box dance. Again, putting boxes in my mouth from Walmart. Also, it looks like cornbread to me. <laughs> yeah, well, it's jiffy. But I'm just saying that like, that looks like cornbread. It did not rise. Like I'm, I am did. so excited to try this. I mean, I saved it for it. Did not, oh, it no. Is, <laughs> no, not great. Half the cupcake stuck to the thing. Oh no, that's not good. It's not great, but I'm telling you, like that's not a deal breaker for me. I'll eat, like, you're gonna tell me as a kid that you never like did one of these. You ever do one of those where you like actually bit a little too hard, you got a little piece of the paper in your mouth, and then you're like, you know what? It won't hurt anything, and you just swallow it. You have a whole story. <laughs> That's what I do, baby. That's what you have to do here. It's story time with Matt. It's not about the ranking. It's about just getting to know the dumb things Matt's done in his life. And yeah, Matt's eaten paper quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a cornbread taste This is to what it. I think cupcakes taste like in the Great Depression. This is not great. This is not good at all. So I'll be honest with you. That's one of the worst cupcakes I've had in a very long time. It had a weird flavor. It almost tastes, what oh, is that like, flavor? I'm I mean, so close to identifying. You don't know what that Shh. is. Oh, it's like a, like a Shh. <laughs> It's like a Guinness flavor. Woman, please. Let me do my job. I got it. Don't get on top of it. It's, like, you know that taste in your mouth when you lick a stamp or an envelope? Now you don't lick stamps anymore, but when you lick an envelope? Mm -hmm. Yes. The glue? They're putting that in Jiffy. The glue. Jiffy's made out of horse glue. <laughs> horse glue? <laughs> you know they make glue out of horses? That is 100% the taste of licking an envelope. This is garbage. I don't, yeah. Okay, I'm putting anything in. I bet somebody out there uh, eats that on the regular, but I bet they doctor it up. God, I hope they doctor it up. Okay, we're putting, I'm putting this at the end. Yeah, I would agree with you on that one. So here we go. Well, there you have it. Uh, and we agreed on almost all of this except for those two. This right here. I would say that they're close. They're pretty interchangeable. Yeah, yeah. But this is, this is the clear winner in taste, yes. in texture, color, across the board. It seems to be the best one to go with. These aren't bad and they're very close together. So if you're ever out of this, you can go yes. with one of these and be, it'd be totally fine. And honestly, bang for your buck, I know she disagrees, but like, if you're looking to save about 30 cents, <laughs> this is the way to go right here. It's not worth it. Also, if you're like in desperately to save 30 cents. Um, you probably don't need cake. You just holler at me, I got, I'll give you 30 cents. I'll Venmo it to you. Uh, this right here, it just confirms that Aldi's not a real grocery store. That's it is not a true. simulation. I like Aldi. Don't I go. I do like this. The last place, not even close. Please, if every other cake mix on the shelf is gone and sold out and the only thing left is Jiffy, find another store. You did. That was perfect. I told you you could feel it. I felt it. You're a pro. I, I, I love it. Well, thanks for having me for here. <laughs> yeah, what else? What kind of other food are you an expert on? I mean, I feel like I'm an expert on a lot of things. Hamburger helper? Are you implying that I only cook hamburger you helper? Haven't, you haven't made hamburger helper in forever, I and I kind of miss it if I'm being honest with you. Really? Actually, my favorite kind they discontinued. I don't know. It was like the taco, but it didn't have crunchy pieces in it, and it had this like white cream on I top. I've never had, and I've never had this. He talks about it a lot, and I've never had that. Mm. So if you've had it before, let me know in the comments. Well, I like that. That's good. <laughs> and then we tell everybody to like and subscribe to his channel and you might see more things like this. You've actually watched one of these? Thanks for watching. I love you, but not as much as I love her. Oh. <laughs>